Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I had to upload another video today. I just saw this news. It was on Sky and I wish it was a parody but boy unfortunately it's not. But before I begin me and Ali have launched a channel called Dining to Jannah. You guys probably know I already have a channel called Gaming to Jannah. Dining to Jannah is where we go to halal restaurants, we review them, we have banter and of course we share some benefit also. <laughs> so back to this story yeah, this piece of work apparently did a deal with the devil just so he could win the lottery. He ended up killing two women and has been sentenced to life in prison. While the devil is at his home, Netflix and chilling with Daniel's dignity. The police found a contract <laughs> that he had written with the devil that was signed with his blood. It went on to detail that he had planned to do more murders and on a regular basis so he could continue getting more money. Unsurprisingly this ignoramus was a consumer of far right content, yes that's right and he would also visit these satanic forums as well. To such a degree that even when he was at school he was put forward for the prevent counter extremism program because of the far right material he was viewing. Now here's a point of contention yeah, very interesting. Why is the far right not mentioned in the title? Because anytime the perpetrator is a Muslim it's clear, you know what I'm saying? But here you have to scroll down and let's face it, by the time we've scrolled down 50% of the population is I don't know on TikTok or so. Now here he is in custody wondering where it all went wrong. Speak of the devil and he shall appear they say, but the devil claims he's still stuck in traffic and that was two days ago. Now this story is not void of any irony because on the day of judgment we believe that the followers of shaitan and their desires will run to him expecting him to save him. But shaitan will waft them away like some sort of smelly fart because he knows that on that day he cannot do anything. Now who's to blame? I think the media is not immune from this yeah, because you've got the likes of Netflix who have got a very famous series called Lucifer in which they depict Satan as a handsome young man with a six pack. You've got countless celebrities who admit to doing deals with the devil. Here you can see that this is a concert of Drake and if you pause it he brings up a picture of Rihanna. Yeah, it's an insult, it's not an insult, whatever. The fact that people are there watching this. On the other hand, here you'll see Kanye West admitting, I sold my soul to the devil. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Lisa came with a few toys like a happy meal. I kind of get possessed by the devil when I'm performing. I like head banged so hard that I got concussion. And of course let's not forget Lil Nas X who earlier this year released a video in which he was giving a lap dance to Shaitan. Oh yes because you know what else are you gonna do on a Monday morning you know what I'm saying. And of course the Muslims yeah the Muslims are to blame because if we are not learning about our religion, practicing it and propagating it then people are gonna turn to other things for the truth. Yeah, like GK Chesterton said, replying to Nietzsche when he said God is dead. He said God being dead doesn't mean people won't worship anything, anyone. It means people will worship anything, that people need something. But if we're being stingy with the truth, then people are gonna go elsewhere. Yeah. If you start the work of da'wah, you see how the help of Allah descends upon you and you will see how your life improves. It gives you something to focus your energy on, gives you you know fulfillment, it makes you feel good and it of course benefits you in this world and in the hereafter. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.